Hi, I'm Julie Hassan. Welcome to Everyday Dish TV. Who doesn't love pancakes, especially when they're nice and fluffy and hot off the griddle? Well, I'll tell you what, I for one love pancakes and I'm going to show you how to make one of our favorites around our house, which is a whole grain orange blueberry pancake that are not only fantastic to eat, they taste great, but they're really quick to mix together in the mornings because who's not rushing around in the morning and you know deadlines and work and kids and everything else. So I'm going to show you how to put a very quick breakfast on the table that's delicious. So let's get started with the pancakes. To begin with we have some unbleached organic all-purpose flour. Now you could use, you could just substitute whole wheat pastry flour for this if you wanted to, but this keeps them where they still taste really fluffy and kind of that you know unhealthy pancake flavor, just a little bit. So we're going to add that in there. And then we have equal parts of whole wheat pastry flour. Now not regular whole wheat flour, but whole wheat pastry flour. Again, if you can find it organic, even better. So we're going to add that in there. And that just kind of lightens up that wheat flavor a little bit. But like I said, you could put all whole wheat pastry flour. It would be fine. Then we have some wheat germ. Wheat germ is really healthy. It's got lots of vitamin E in it, and it's great to put into your pancakes. So we're going to put that in. It gives it a nice nutty flavor. And then we're going to add just a little pinch, well, maybe a tablespoon or so, of organic sugar. So we'll put that in. And then we have our baking powder. And you'll notice this has quite a bit of baking powder, but that's what makes them rise and makes them so fluffy. So we're going to mix these dry ingredients together. Really easy, you see a bowl and a spoon. You could easily have your kids help you make these in the morning. Okay, and then for our wet ingredients, we have soy milk, but you could use rice milk, almond milk, hemp milk, you could use any of the alternative non-dairy milks. So we're gonna add that in there. I just am using some soy milk today. And we have some fresh squeezed orange juice. We're gonna put in there. And some pure vanilla extract. These are so good. Now we're going to just mix them together. The key, the trick with making pancakes is that you don't have to get all the lumps out. You want to mix it fairly well, but it doesn't need to be lump free or else they tend to be a little tough. So here we go. We're almost there. A few more mixes here. Oh yeah. Now we've got this gorgeous batter. Look at that. How good does that look? And it makes a lot of pancakes. Another nice thing, you can keep whatever you don't make that morning with pancakes, you can put in the refrigerator and make them the next morning and the batter is still great. So now we have our pancake batter. We have our skillet which has been preheating. I like to use a nice cast iron skillet but you could also use non-stick. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil because we don't want them sticking. And because there's no oil in the actual batter, it's okay to put a little bit of oil on your griddle and it'll help get really great pancakes. And then what I do is I just ladle it right on and I like my pancakes little but you could do any size you want. Put those right there. These are so good. I'm getting so hungry. Okay, one more. This is just a really great versatile batter. Okay, so while these are cooking away there, now we're going to add some blueberries. You could add fresh blueberries. If you have fresh blueberries, add those, sprinkle them on top. But if not, frozen blueberries work great. And these are just some baby organic wild blueberries. I don't think they're baby, but they look baby to me because they're little. And I'm just going to sprinkle those on top. And then you're getting that extra health benefit from the blueberries as well as the whole wheat flour. So it's really a nice way to start the day. You're getting protein from your non-dairy milk, you're getting a little vitamin C from the orange juice. So it's a good way. It's a good way to start the day. Okay, so we have those. And now what we're going to do, we're going to adjust our heat and we're going to wait until they're looking more cooked around the edges. And then what we'll do is we'll lift them and if they're ready to flip, we'll flip them. Okay, these, oh yeah, they're ready to turn. As you can see, they lift easily. They're kind of dry around here. They're still a little wet in the center. That's what you want. And then you flip it over and it's got that gorgeous golden color on the outside, golden brown. That's what you want. This one, oh yeah. Flip that over. 
You'll notice too, when they're ready to flip, they're a lot easier to flip that way. And then this one, look at that. And then if they kind of overlap like this one is, yeah, just pull them apart like that. Nobody will ever know. Okay, we have our final one. Oh yeah, that looks good. And flip that over. See, I'm famous for having them just, you know, sticking to one another. So those look great. So now we're going to cook this side and then they'll be ready for chowing. Okay, they're ready now. They're golden on the bottom. Oh, these look so good. I'm so excited. Now I get to eat them. So I hope that these are, you know, you go and you make these tomorrow morning for breakfast. In fact, make these tomorrow morning for breakfast. And I hope you enjoy them as much as we do. And I promise you they're very quick to make. You can even put all the dry ingredients together in a bowl the night before and put some plastic wrap on top, cover it. And then in the morning, you just add your liquid ingredients, and you're good to go. So now, I'm just going to go ahead, add a little earth balance, and uh, pure maple syrup to the top of the pancakes, and I am going to have some breakfast. Thank you so much for joining me on Everyday Dish. And for this recipe and many, many other excellent and delicious recipes, please go to everydaydish.tv, and I will see you next time. Thanks again for joining me.